Hello, this is Alex Sigris. It is time for another 2022 News in Review, which goes over the top stories of Pangyo Techno Valley in 2022. Among the four keywords we prepared, today we are giving you the biggest news stories with our third keyword, bio. Let's start with the first news story from last July. Theragen Bio has identified that MAST4 protein is a key protein that determines the differentiation of mesenchymal stem cells, or MSC, into cartilage cells or bone cells. This research result is meaningful in that for the first time in the world, domestic researchers discovered a new protein, MAST4, that plays an important role in research for the treatment of cartilage and bone loss diseases, such as osteoporosis and rheumatoid arthritis, which are chronic incurable joint diseases affecting mostly older populations. The MAST4 protein inhibits cartilage differentiation while accelerating bone differentiation providing for the first time in the world that MSC differentiates into chondrocytes in the absence of the MAST4 protein and differentiates into osteocytes when the MAST4 protein is increased. MSCs have low immunogenicity, so both autologous and homologous cells can be used, making it easy to secure cells. Since MSCs can be transplanted after simply removing the MAST4 protein gene with genetic scissors, they have the potential to be a groundbreaking treatment for cartilage regeneration. It is expected that these findings will greatly contribute to regenerative medicine in the field. The second news story comes from last August. Organoid Sciences Regenerative Treatment for Intestinal Diseases gets approved for its two clinical studies. Organoid Science announced that two clinical studies of ATORMC and organoid-based intestinal disease regeneration treatment were approved as suitable under the Act on Safety and Support for Advanced Regenerative Medicine and Advanced Biopharmaceuticals. Organoid-based regenerative therapies start regenerating immediately regardless of the time required for differentiation or the degree of differentiation due to the structural diversity composed of originally differentiated cells. So the industry predicts that organoids will be able to overcome the limitations of stem cells. As organoid-based treatments are being adopted for a number of government tasks, they will become a representative next generation regenerative treatment that can cure incurable diseases. That is according to CTO Yi Kyung Jin, who oversees the development of organoid based regenerative therapies. Next up is our third big story from the year coming from this past October. Institute Pasteur Korea holds a global symposium for the Asia Pacific region. The theme of this symposium was Antibiotic Resistance One Health Response Strategies centered on the Asia Pacific region. And it focused on the effective and rapid response strategies to antibiotic resistance through the One Health approach, which focuses collectively on humans, environment, animals, and food. The symposium was attended by 14 antibiotic resistance experts from seven countries, including the Pasteur Network from countries such as Korea, Cambodia, Vietnam, and France, as well as domestic and international academic and research institutes. The One Health approach began to be emphasized from around 2010 as a key strategy to combat antibiotic resistance and zoonotic diseases, calling for multidisciplinary and broad global cooperation to create a world where people, animals, and the environment are all healthy as one. Accordingly, the World Health Organization, or the WHO, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United States, or the FAO, the World Organization for Animal Health, the OIE, and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, and the One Health Commission, or OHC, are leading the way in expanding the One Health response. Institute Pasteur Korea is also actively contributing to the acceleration of One Health by expanding global research cooperation based on the Pasteur Network, which consists of 32 research institutes in 25 countries. Moving on to our fourth big news story of the year. Emocog's Digital Treatment for Mild Cognitive Impairment, Cogthera, has been approved for a confirmatory clinical trial. 
Coctera is the first product approved for a confirmatory clinical trial among digital therapeutics for mild cognitive impairment. It is a mobile-based digital therapeutic that can improve long-term memory and cognitive function in patients with MCI. This confirmatory clinical trial is scheduled to end in 2024. No Yu-Hun, co-CEO of Emocog, said, this approval of the confirmatory clinical trial is more meaningful in that it is the first digital treatment for mild cognitive impairment. He added, we are also planning overseas clinical trials, such as conducting a pre-submission to the FDA, along with domestic confirmatory clinical trials. Emocog is a startup that develops digital therapeutics for cognitive disorders and has received investments from Naver D2SF and Cacao Ventures. Last but not least, our fifth news story comes from November. SK Bioscience and WHO conduct training together. Trainees at the WHO's Human Research Training Hub were trained on the vaccine production process. The training was conducted to bridge regional gaps in vaccine production capabilities by fostering vaccine production talent in countries that don't have the necessary infrastructure just yet. Based on its domestic company's vaccine and bio production capabilities and excellent educational infrastructure, Korea was designated by the WHO in February as a global bio manpower training hub, an education and training institution for vaccine and biopharmaceutical production processes. In this training, 26 trainees from 12 developing nations in the Asia Development Bank region, including Vietnam, Indonesia, and Thailand, got to learn in production facilities where Korea's first COVID-19 vaccine, SkyCoV-1 multi-injection, was born. The trainees experienced Korea's high-quality vaccine production process by touring the facilities for the vaccine stock solution and finished production and quality control laboratory at the Andong L House. And that's going to wrap it up for the top bio news in 2022 for Pangyo Techno Valley, a leader in the area of health and science research and technology. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you for our final news in review 2022.